Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Trinity UHC. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer real quick. We got 45 seconds on the clock. Now, <laughs> last episode, a lot of you guys thought by the title of it that the series was over. No, 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 no. We are long from over. Long, long from over. But we did happen to find quite a lot of things in the last episode that dealt us a little bit of hearts down in the sacrifice of an apple, but we have Nether Wart. We got Soul Sand somewhere. We got Soul Sand right there. We got Blaze Rods. We got Gas Tear. We got some oodles of stuff. And right in here, I gotta do this cautiously. Right in here is the fortress that we have been doing. Oh god. Oh, actual god. Oh, where are they? Oh, where are they? Oh god, hold on, hold on. I will get into explaining in a bit. Where are they shooting from? Oh dearest me. They're behind us. Oh my god, listen to that! <gasps> Holy crap! Dude! Listen to that! So, we're in a fortress right now, and I'm pretty sure we're screwed. <laughs> Holy shit! A um, little bit of an update, yeah. So, we're in the nether, and we found a fortress that is wielding us quite a lot of very, very good things. Oh, I gotta be careful. I have to be really, really careful. I'm just gonna go, like, this way. I'm gonna go away from the fortress a bit, away from these guys, because I don't think they have aggro stuck on me. They might, actually. Ooh, okay. Um. Oof. So yeah, we're in a nether fortress. That is quite the dangerous one. Yeah, there they are. Where's the rest of them? There he is. Oh! Any more? There's bound to be a few more. Oh, man. I want that other blaze rod. I don't think I need it, though. So our main goal right now is kind of just to get the fudge out of here. It's not over there. Where are they? I think we're safe to move... There he is. There we go. Just gotta eliminate these guys, and we'll be okay. There's a chest there. Hallelujah! He's this way. Okay, what are we gonna get in our first chest? Ooh! Oh, we got a saddle! Okay, we got a saddle. We got a saddle. We got some gold and we got some horse armor. Sweet. Okay. Awesome things are happening right now. We're going to break this just so we don't think that we came back here before. Our goal right now is to kind of loot this place. Get some cool stuff like the saddle, for instance. Oh, man. I'm happy we can finally get a horse. And then go back home. Make some potions. Make some regen pots. Go back home and basically fortify our chances of pretty much never dying. Um, with, like, fire distance potions, with all that fun stuff. Now, it looks like we've only found one chest so far. Our coordinates are, we're about 300 and 700 blocks away from the portal. So we're a decent ways away. Are these guys underneath? Have we gone? Oh, there's an actual skeleton, though. Okay. We got them down. Easy said than done. Yeah, we're basically, as soon as we can figure out that there's no more area around here that we really need to explore. Now, I know these guys are probably above us, but unless there's a way that I can get up there... Oh, hello. Hello, little guys. They are all down there. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, what's across here? Nothing. So we just gotta go down here. I haven't really explored much of this at all. Oh! There's some more! Hello. They around the corner? There's one around the corner. 
Oh god, look at those blazes. Don't shoot the pigment. Oh, thank god. Okay. Hello, skeleton. Don't shoot the pigment. No. Oh! Oh! The shot I had to take. Pigment, you're okay. Pigment, you're okay. Okay. There is one right on the edge. Okay. Let's block that off. Hello? Hello, friend. You're dead now. Okay. We can pick this up, sure. Why not? There's no point not picking it up. You know, you can never have too much another wart. Well, actually, you probably can. Okay, um, should not have turned the corner without looking. Two chests. More horse armor. Don't really know if it's worth it, but we'll take it anyway. And the next chest, I'm hoping for, like, some diamonds or something. Ooh, three chests. Ooh, baby, give me that. Sweet. Okay, nice. Um, okay, so we've got some more diamonds. What can we take out? There we go. Awesome. Oh, I need to break these chests so I don't actually think that I've kept them before. Mm. Okay, so in terms of loot, we found, like, the main area of where a lot of this stuff in here is, which is awesome. Really, really cool. Um, we'll be able to make our way home. Yeah, you guys have been enjoying the series a lot, and I'm really, really happy that you guys have. Um, I made the series, you know, really hoping that it... Wow, okay. Um, wow, they're all above or something. Holy crap. Oh, another saddle. Beautiful. Now, I don't really think we'll need more than one saddle, but... I guess it's a good thing to have a few in case one gets lost for some strange reason. And... Another saddle. Okay. So saddles aren't a, aren't a problem anymore. We don't really need quartz. Okay, so we, we've guaranteed got a horse. Awesome! Freaking awesome! Oh, I'm so happy. So we can actually look around for a really trusty steed soon, which is sick. Really excited about that. Now, the area that I want to go in, we can go up from here. Oh, there is still a little bit more up. Just turn to the right here. Gotta be careful. What is gonna be on the right? Nothing. Oh, what's gonna be in the corner of it? Still a little bit more to go. Another chest. Awesome. And then a wall. Okay, what we got? Okay. Uh, a little bit more iron and some more nether wart. Not really anything too, you know, amazing. Ooh, you can kind of- ooh, that was a little bit cheeky right there. <laughs> you can kind of see out there. And there was one last area that we had- Oh god! Oh god! Oh, I didn't think they'd spawn. <sighs> shoot. Oh, shoot. Real freaking careful right about now. Okay, we got them both down. Sweet. Oh, that was a little bit scary. Oh, still there. Still another one. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, blaze rods are never going to be an issue for us again, which is awesome. Um, I definitely don't think it's worth it in this game mode to do a, a blaze spawner. Um, like, trap one and make a grinder out of it. A blaze grinder. Really don't think it's worth it. Um, maybe... Yeah, I'll, I'll have to see. Probably once I can get to a, uh, a situation where I'm a little bit more comfortable with the fact that I'll probably never die, which is not right now. There's a little bit of a ways to go over here, and this is where this other guy was. There's nothing over here. Okay, so the the place itself is pretty much looted, which means we are going back home. We're going over to the overworld. We're getting the hell out of here, wherever the hell we came from, actually. Where did we come from? I think it was this way. Yeah, it was this way, and it was through... Somewhere. I can't recall. Oh, there's a lot of these. Can I get ahead? I'm not gonna get ahead. Oh, <gasps> yes! Mmm, baby, look at that. Look at that. Not even with fortune. Or not even with looting. Oh, what do I want? What do I want to get? What do I want to throw away? What do I want to throw away? Uh, crafting table. We don't need that right now. We got ahead. Sick. So we got our first head. We are one out of three away from being able to spawn the mother truck and wither, man. I'm happy. We don't really want to right now, though. We definitely don't want to. But that is something that is on the agenda now, which is awesome. Um, was really not expecting to, uh, 
That was a little bit of soul sand there. The fuck? Did I place that down? Oh no, it's a little... Oh! Oh, it's an area. Oh, okay, it's an area. Um, alright, so we need to go this way, and we need to go... We need to go this way. Okay, so we need to go... Uh, yeah, we need to go northwest. We need to go northwest, just like a baby. Um, uh, how the hell do we get out of here is the bigger question. How the hell did I even... How did I get here? Oh, it was this way. And then, oh, I think I remember. And then it was over here. Oh, let's be careful now. That's the spawner. Get the hell away from those guys. They just spawned. We don't want any business with them. So let's let's take a look at all the things we can make right now. Hello. Don't want you alive. Keep you away. Let's take a look at all the things we can make. We can make, for one, strength potions, strength two. We can make anything of the second power, of like, um, like a strengthened potion. We can make anything of a lengthened potion as well. So we can make regen pots. We can make, um, hmm. We can make fire resistance potions. Strength potions. Um, hmm. What other potions can we make? I think that's about it for right now. I'm probably missing a couple. I probably am. And to that I say, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so we've got potions, we've got ingredients, we got enough to make brewing stands, we got enough to pretty much do anything that we need to. And the only time we'll need to come back into the nether for right now is gonna be to... Uh, it's gonna be to get the wither heads. Now, we already have one. <laughs> we've already got a wither skeleton scale. Look at us, look at how cute... Oh, I was gonna say cute, but I really don't want to say that. Uh, we, we just look good. We look good. Um... And the only question is, how the hell am I going to get out of here? I think it was down this way and around, if I'm not mistaken. So I think we need to go here and around, like a loop. So I actually don't recall how to get out of here. I could backtrack my recording, but we're in an area that I've never visited. Oh, I don't think that's the way. Let's just go this way and hope. Uh, we are in an area that I've never visited before, and the problem was, is we didn't just get here through, like, a spew- Oh, and you know what? On our way back, let's get all the quartz that we can. Try and get, like, level 30 enchants or something along those lines, because quartz is OP, and you guys are probably gonna hang me being like, Pete, you went all that way and didn't get a single block of quartz? No, we need- we need that level 30 enchant. Trust me, we do. Probably on the sword. Probably on the sword. Uh, or the armor, actually, because I think we'll have enough to make a diamond chest piece. Um, and the thing is, too, we don't really need to worry about, like, uh, saving diamonds for, um, like, rationing diamonds. Because we're, if we die once, we're pretty much, we're out of the game. Straight up, series is over, season's over, we'll, we're done. So, I think we can make a chest plate and enchant it to, like, prot four. Maybe even, uh, I don't, I don't know if I want to do thorns. I don't think I want to do thorns. Okay, so yeah, there actually is... I think this was the fortress we found before, that was right around this area, because there was one right here that I think, I think this was the one that we originally went to, um, which is kind of funny, that's, that's actually really hilarious that that's the one we went to, maybe, and then there was this, this one over here that actually was wealthy, um, so yeah, let's grab some quartz, yeah, a funny thing is too, oh, and by the way, um, I'm actually uploading this on uh, Easter for me. Um, I don't know if a lot of you guys are celebrating it right now, but if you are celebrating it, I hope you're having a very lovely Easter. I hope you have spend some time with your family. And even if, you know, you're not celebrating Easter, spend time with your family anyways. Um, but yeah, um, I'm glad you guys are enjoying the series. It's awesome to hear. It's actually funny because uh, I tweeted this out a few days ago saying that my mom actually came in my room and was like, Brandon, I've been enjoying your videos, the, the Trinity UHC, it's been awesome. And I kind of got flattered a little bit, I was like, or it was, it was kind of strange too, but I was like, okay, uh, thanks mom. And then she comes in like right before I record this and is just like, I love your Trinity series, and I'm like, you've been actively watching that? And she's like, yeah, yeah, I've been watching like episode 2, 3, and 4, uh, and all that kind of stuff, and I'm just like, I kind of didn't know how to respond, really. I, I find it funny, but, uh, hey, my mom can enjoy my content, so can you. And that's, that's probably gonna be my senior quote. <laughs> my mom can enjoy my content, you can enjoy my personality. 
something. And I just have like a little picture of me just smiling all dorky like. <laughs> My senior picture actually turned out good. Um, but anyways, okay. Did I actually? Yeah, I think this was the one that I originally went to. Because it just looks like one that's hovered over by lava. Oh man, would you look at that. The problem is our diamond pick is actually almost gone. I don't know if I want to be mining this quartz with diamonds. Ah, you know what, yellow mode. Why the hell not? And is this a ghast over here? Oh, yes! We can get a second ghast here. Hello. Oh, you're trapped, aren't you? Return to cinder, bitch! <laughs> oh, please tell me I didn't fall in the lava. Please. Are you serious? This is going to be a second time without a... Since when were gas tiers not, like, a mandatory thing for gas to drop? I thought they always drop gas tiers. I, like, I actually thought that was a rule. Ooh. You can kill this guy and get more, uh... Oh, this is an area I don't think I've been in. This is beautiful! Look at this area! This is so cool. Okay, um, we want to back him away from the lava. Look at all this quartz! Oh, and look at all that gas. Where's that gas coming from? This nether area is actually beautiful. And that could have been really bad. That could have been really bad. Um, okay, let's bring this guy. I think he's a little bit more over now. Come here. Come here. No, no, no. Come away from the fire. I want to shoot you in the face so I can get your drop magma creams. Come on, give me your cream. Give me thy cream. Is that going to give me anything? Yes, we got one. Sweet. These should drop some too. I think they will. Yeah, these will drop some too. Okay, we got two. I think it's only two. Yeah, I think we only got two, but that's okay, because now we have three in total, which should make us, yeah, nine potions of fire resistance. And if we extend that, oh man, the nether is gonna be our bitch today. <laughs> I'm really happy, because it's like, once you make nether progress, it shows a big waypoint for you in the series. Because there's, you know, like the division of actually like getting diamonds and stuff like that, but caving's not a hard thing to do, especially strip mining. Going into the nether, successfully getting everything you need for, like, potions and stuff, that's a difficult feat. Um, and you gotta be careful, especially on, like, a UHC world. So, for me, this is this means big things. And as soon as we can get to the overworld, the thing is, I want to, uh, what I want to do is, um, ooh, you know what? I think I want to stack up on a bit of, uh, hold on, I want to Google something real quick. Minecraft Gliss during melons because i think you have to use oh it's gold ingots for a melon oh i don't know why but i thought you had to use a blaze rod on a no okay good the one thing that i do want to do actually is um i want to grab a horse and i want to go like far out and i want to find a jungle biome I really want to find a jungle biome, because I really, really want melons, so we can have potions of healing. As soon as we get potions and stuff like that, I'm getting an ender chest, filling that whole thing up with potions, taking that every single place that I go. Because golden apples, like, won't even be relevant to us anymore soon, which is awesome. Except god apples and, well, maybe golden apples, too, with, like, the absorption and stuff. Uh, we're nearly at level 30, which is hype. And I think we might go, actually, until uh, our diamond pick runs out. I could make an iron one right now. Uh, you know, I'm not going to do it, actually. And I don't know why. I think I might use the three diamonds, not toward armor right now. But I think I might use it on another diamond pick and enchant that. Um, and then call that us. Because I do want to get fortune um, on the pick. That would be amazing. Because the enchants are going to play a big role for us. We want fortune on the pig, we want looting on a sword, infinity on a bow, which is golden, we already have. And then we also want um, sharpness on our sword, which is another one. And probably feather falling. I would say feather falling would probably be the only other enchant that's really vital, obviously, aside from like protection. But feather falling is going to be a big one, more than likely for the fact that, you know, if we fall off a cliff, it'll be nice to have a bigger chance of not dying it's especially because i'll probably carry a water bucket on me everywhere i think i made that point in episode one yeah i think i did but it would still be nice to you know have that little tiny uh heap of i guess fortune on my own to make sure that i don't actually die so okay level 28 we're almost at level 30 we could stay in here for a little while and get a higher level than 30 
But for right now, I think 30 levels is a good time to, you know, pack up and leave. Hmm. Because we, we can just go through the portal again, because we are really far away from the portal still. So any of these blocks that are breaking, we probably won't see again for a very, very long time. Um, yeah, I don't really need to pay a visit to any fortresses anymore. Yeah, we're leaving as soon as we get level 30. Uh, I just need to, I need to restate that to myself just to make sure, like, am I forgetting anything? I'm not forgetting anything, am I? And that would have been brutal. Oh, that would have been brutal. Okay. Alright, our diamond pick is nearly broken. How much durability is it at right now? 450 out of 1561. And by the way, for those that don't actually know this about Minecraft, that right there is a vanilla command that actually shows the, um, the item code and the durability damage of a pick. If you hit F3 and H at the same time, that's what it shows up for. F3 and H at the same time. So, F3 plus H does that. Um, so if you do that at the same time, hit it at the exact same time, it'll show like durability and everything. Second thing, just showing you guys a little something, F3 and B, same time, shows hitboxes for everything. It's actually cool because this got changed in 1.8 to actually show the um, trajectory of where the item's looking. So you see the blue, that's actually where the entity is looking. Uh, if you see the pigman, you can see that his blue line is looking where his face is. And it would be the same for me. You can see my blue line will follow where I'm looking. So it's actually pretty cool. Um, I've done that in a couple of videos and people have been like, Pete, you're hacking! It's not actually hacks, it just shows hitboxes. Uh, sometimes they're not really all that fair, but, you know, because for instance, I was able to see that there was something, you know, there was a pigment right up there when normally I might have missed him. And there was a pigment over there. A little bit cheeky, but I wouldn't publicly use it in like servers and stuff. Um, F3 and S actually um does your sound too and another cool thing as well this is for people um one last thing this is for people that have uh multi-monitor setups and things like that if you do f3 and p at the same time f3 and p that's the quote-unquote pause so if you were to tab out for example so uh alt tab and go away from minecraft right now i'm doing something entirely different but it's not actually showing the um like the uh, pause screen on my Minecraft. So it's still active, even though you're not on the window, which normally, if you were to take it off like that, and you tried doing something on your other window, so like alt tabbing right now, uh, alt tab, and you go away, see, it'll show the pause symbol and you won't be able to play. So it's actually, it's, it's pretty cool. I really like it. Um, I'm sure there's a few more alt commands like that or F3 commands in the game, but I don't know them. And we got 30 levels, which is awesome. So we're gonna go home now, uh, try and find our way back home, because that may take the rest of the episode, to be honest with you. Death is upon us, my friend. Death is upon us. Death is upon us. But it's okay, because my pinky finger is stronger than death. So we're nearly there in terms of the x-axis. Z, though, Z leaves a little bit to be desired, but I think we're on the right track. Because it was actually interesting, we originally found the new area by going through a very small cave. So I thought I would have to dig through a lot of netherrack to actually get back here. We haven't gone through a cave yet, and I don't actually think we're going to need to. Because apparently there was some other way to get over here than just going through that cave, which is awesome. Because I actually thought that was the only way over, and I told myself, okay... I can get through here, but I know for a f oh, okay. But I know for a fact, getting back home is literally going to be, well, hell. <laughs> I was waiting, I'm like, where does it say it? Where does it say it? There it is. Pun intended. Um, so I think actually, yeah, we just need to go this direction now. We should actually be home. Right around here should be the portal, a little bit further down this direction should be the portal. Oh, guys, I'm so happy! I think I can actually make it back to the overworld now on seven hearts. Oh, that's actually brutal. This series is just... Oh, God, okay. Um, How can we get down? Let's go this way. Let's go around this way. This series has really taught me how to survive. Like, I've always known really well how to not take damage um, compared to the environment. Obviously, PvP... Is something a little bit different because you're fighting against players but in terms of pve i've always been very good at you know not taking damage because i know my way around minecraft for playing it three and a half years pretty much 
Um, I'm I'm pretty experienced myself. And you know, it's actually funny is um, my three-year anniversary on YouTube is actually coming up pretty soon. I'm pretty sure it was my first upload was, let me actually check, April 14th, I think it was. Uh, Pizza Hut intro video floating island that was my title yeah where was it two years ago the channel was it was uploaded yeah april 14 2012 so in less than 10 days um i'm gonna be doing just so you guys know because if you actually if you've been around for longer than a year now or just about a year uh you'll know that um for my two-year anniversary i did a recording uh, a hunger games recording uh on my old macintosh uh my old imac um because that I started off YouTube on an iMac, so uh, for every year anniversary, I would go back on my iMac and uh, <laughs> and do a recording on there, render it out and everything, and it's just, oh my gosh, it was so much hell, but I love it. So hopefully, because that thing right now is probably about eight years old, I'd say. Okay, we need to kill these guys. Regen pots, I need. Don't go into the fire. Don't go into the fire. I swear to God if it went into the fire. You know what? I'm gonna assume it didn't even drop anything. We've killed four gas and only one of them has given us a tear. Gas, I need you to come up here for a second, please. Can you rise up a little bit? Rise up! Rise up! Come here. There you go. There you go. Easy game. Oh, please tell me that actually landed. Thank you! Thank you! Two gas tears. Six potions of regen. Happy, happy, Brandon is very, very pleased. Okay, I'm good now. I'm, I'm very good. I'm happy. I'm pleased. We got 18 minutes left in the recording, and oh man, it should be right around here. Unless we're just a few blocks off. I might have to look through my screenshots and check. This place I don't think is going to lead us out. Is this going to lead us out? I don't think it will. We can go back up here to kind of tr test our luck through the caves. Wow, great luck. Great, great luck. Great luck. Okay, yeah. This isn't going to lead us anywhere. Let me actually check real quick. Uh, I want to see screenshots. Where on earth our portal is? Because I have all of them saved to my screenshot folder. Let's see. Where is it? That was where... The fortress was the portal is at 12 and 8 negative 85 so we need to go this way actually oh we went too far back so negative 12 and negative 85 i gotta remember not to look at my second monitor while i'm running in the nether negative 12 and negative 85 so it was more this way okay we could truthfully dig to it we could dig to it but I kind of want to save a little bit of durability on my pick. Okay, there's another gas around here, too. Oh, so we didn't even have to go this way. Would you look at them apples? Those aren't happy apples. Okay, um... Hmm. So negative 12. That was right down here. It's about 200 blocks. That'd be about 400 blocks broken. That'd break our pick. <laughs> if we tried digging in uh, through that way, that would break our pickaxe. Alright, uh, I gotta be really freaking careful right now. Holy shit. Okay, now we gotta go that way still. We're gonna be able to? Is this the way? I have a feeling this is not the way. Uh, this is not the way. No, it's most definitely not the way. I think, I think we're actually gonna have to dig to it somehow. Because I think what happened is... Think of it like this. This right here is where our portal is. And this is all the pathways. This right here is where we are. And it ends here. I think there's a big division between these two. That you can't reach. That you would have to go around. You would have had to travel basically a pretty, you know, like different position to actually get to. So I think we're going to just have to dig through the nether rat. Oh, unless we go to... Wait, hold on. Wait. What's the Y? 77? This is lower. This may be our best bet. Never mind, we can't get down there. 
No, we most definitely cannot and will not go down here. Okay, we're going to stay at the actual Y level of where we need to be and dig down if we need to. But let's just go ahead and go back to where we were and just dig to our portal. Because <laughs> honestly, I'm done taking risks in the nether. Especially with the fact that both of my times that I've actually taken damage in the nether have been from very, very stupid reasons. Oh man, don't even want to talk about it. Okay. Go down here, gotta be really freaking careful. Really careful. I will not forgive myself if I die. I don't care when in the series it is. I will not forgive myself if I die. Okay, and then we gotta go back up around this way here. You just gotta remember, guys. It's okay, because you are in the hands of a pretty experienced player. <laughs> I don't want to brag, but I've been playing for four years, and I better as well be damn good at the game. <laughs> like, if I'm not good at Minecraft, then after all these years... I need to talk to someone, because I play this game basically for a living. I play video games for a living and upload commentary and all that crap, but... Yeah, if, I, if I'm not good at Minecraft after, you know, this long of doing it... Somebody's gonna have to get talking to. Anyway, so what we're gonna do... Is, um... Well, actually, we'll run the diamond pick down. Yeah, we'll, we'll run the diamond pick down. Actually, thinking about it... We might emerge a little bit f more, uh, sooner than the actual portal itself. Because it's not encased. So this might actually not run our pickaxe down. Uh, so let's see right here then. Um, negative, there's 12 and negative 85. I hear a little bit of noise. Oh, I hear a lot of noise here. A lot of pigment. A lot of pigment. Oh, they're getting louder. Can we emerge from somewhere? Please? Oh, they're getting real loud. They're all around us now. I think they're like above us or something. Oh, there's another ghast. I hear fire. We're around something. Hmm. We are definitely around something. I gotta be careful though for lights because lava can pour out of these things and it would not be pretty. Okay, uh, now let's go. Yeah, we need to travel 85 more blocks in this direction. That's gonna break our pick. But that's okay. If a diamond pick is a sacrifice we have to make for going through this. Then goddamn, I'll do it. I know we can make iron picks. Don't talk to me. I already know. It's okay. Trust me. Um, yeah, here's some more lava. Ooh, that's brutal. Okay, let's go a bit more this way. Just to get even with that 12. Yeah, we've got a little bit of a way to go. We're probably going to have to make an iron pick. Yeah, I think we're going to have to make an iron pick. This isn't looking good for our pickaxe. Oh, no. Oh, no. Please, no. Thankfully enough, with Netherrack, even if for some hilarious reason we were to get stuck here without a single pick, we'd be okay. Alright. What are we right now? We're almost to negative 12. With that said, we're almost to the portal. We are almost out of here, guys. I'm so excited. Holy crap. Out of the nether we go. 55 blocks. We can travel 25 more blocks, basically. Oh, God. Yep. Say goodbye to the pick, boys. Say goodbye to the pick. It's gonna be gone. 29 blocks, 15 blocks to go. 15 more of a distance. Can we break out? Can we break out before the pick breaks? No. We're not gonna be able to. We are not gonna be able to. We're gonna have to make an iron pick. Yep, there it goes. There it goes, unfortunately. So we'll make a crafting table right now. We'll take some sticks. And we'll make an iron pick. Just like that. We have enough for diamonds, obviously. But we don't need to do that right now. Truthfully, I should have done this in the beginning, but, you know, it was really counting. So we got, yeah, 12 more blocks of travel in this direction here. And then 60 to the left. And then we'll be good to go. Whew, I'm happy. Okay. So it's right here. It's not the actual position where the portal really is. It's just where I looked at the portal with. So we're going to find it in pretty much like a few seconds here. I'll actually dig three blocks down. So we can get on the pure level that we were. Imagine somehow, for some reason, this didn't actually lead us back to the portal. I would cry. I would actually cry. I hear some gas. Here we go. There it is. There it is. We made it. How, how many... Yeah, just a little bit more than what the diamond pick had. Oh, man. Oh, man. 
It's gonna be nighttime, I bet you. It's gonna be nighttime, I bet you. Watch it be nighttime. I hate everything. Oh wait, is the nighttime is just disappearing. The nighttime is just disappearing. Let's sleep in our bed. <sighs> oh my gosh. <sighs> Oh, man. Oh, let my eyes get readjusted. Holy bonkers. That's an Enderman. I want to kill him. Oh, I can't. It's daytime. Oh. I need a minute. Whew, I need a minute. Guys. We survived the nether. <laughs> we survived the nether, which means we're in the clear for a little while. At least I would hope. Let's be honest, a lot of people die when they go to the nether and stuff. A lot of people die in the nether. Oh, man. Oh, man. Ah. Mind you, I'm actually a little bit tired in real life. <laughs> but, um, holy Jesus. Holy Jesus. Oh, it feels good. It feels good. It does. It feels very good. What we're gonna do is we're gonna celebrate... We're gonna make a brewing stand. And we're gonna brew us up some deliciousness. Right up here. Right now. We need to get some glass cooking. Let's go out. Let's get some sand. Oh. Oh, man. Look at this. There's a spider on the ground. What's up, spider? What's up, spitter? I can make... Hmm. I can make poison pots with that. Why would I want to, though? Okay. You know what? The dive... That <laughs> wasn't even really all that much of a dive. It's still a dive nonetheless, though. Guys, I'm so happy. I am so happy. I'm so relieved, if anything. You have no idea. It feels so good to be out in the overworld again. It's so... It just... <laughs> and how much How much damage do we take? Let's see. How, one heart from falling, like a moron. Then what was it, like three and a half? No. If we came in with seven and a half, no, 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 we came in with eight and a half, got ducked down one heart to seven and a half, and then got ducked down, so about two and a half hearts, I think. We took about two and a half hearts of damage in there, which is not bad. I'm happy. I am very, very happy. That's pretty cool to know that even without golden apples, we would still be surviving right now. Probably just barely, but, oh, man. So we have enough with this to make, um, should this be 12 bottles, I think? No. It should be 36 bottles, I think. Yeah, it should be 36 bottles. I'm pretty sure. If my, uh... Okay, we actually do got some levels still from the, uh, <laughs> from the iron in the furnaces. Alright, awesome. So let's actually check real quick. I want to see what the sword would give us at a level 30. Level 30, I want. Is it going to be knocked back? Please don't let it be knocked back. Knocked back 2! Oh man, what a good enchant that is! Let's make some books. Um, what do we have in here? We got Unbreaking, we got Power. That's about it. What level 30 enchant are we gonna get on a book? Power 4. We could just have a very... We could just have like a God Bow, basically. A Power 5 Bow. I kind of want to do it. But the thing I'm going to do first... So I'm going to make a diamond pick. And see what the pickaxe will give us. Because if this gives us fortune, I'm taking this over anything. Efficiency 4. I think I'm going to take that power 4 book. I am. I want a power 5 bow. I want my bow to be all powerful. I want it to be... I want it to, you know, like, beat souls up. So let's take that. Power 4. Beautiful baby. Now, how much would this cost? Just for right now. We're not going to do it at the moment. But how much would this cost to do? Six levels for a power 5 bow. Sick. Okay. Now what are we going to get? Oh! Yes! That's a level 30, though. Can we remove that and still get looting 3? No, it's only looting 2. What if we only remove 1? I'm pretty sure it's only going to give us looting 2. Oh no, it's still going to give us looting 3. 
Sick. But what about this? Efficiency four. Okay, awesome. And the book enchant will give us what? Smite four. Smite, smite's not bad for survival worlds. Oh, baby. Look at that. Would you look at that? Now, we don't actually know. Now, here's the risk. We don't know what sharpness and stuff is going to be on here. But it's looting. I don't give a crap what else is on it. Okay. Here we go for all the marbles. Drum roll, please, in three, two, one. And that's the golden knife. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's all you gave me. That's all you gave me. Holy crap, that's hilarious. That is hilarious. Oh my lord. Now what's the book gonna be? Ooh, Depth Strider. Depth Strider's not that bad. I might want that just for fun. Now what if we were to put down one of these? Depth Strider 2, that's what I thought. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, that's really funny. Uh, that's funny. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> um, okay, so we actually, we only have three diamonds. Ooh. I thought we had more than three. I guess not. I thought we had like five or six or seven or something like that. Ugh. We didn't even have, to have enough to make a chest plate. Huh. I don't know why I thought we did. Anyway, so let's get the, uh, okay. Let's clear up my inventory a little bit. I'm sorry. I have a really bad problem. Let's turn down, uh, hold on. Let's turn down block sounds a little bit. I have a really bad problem with having a very, very messy inventory. Trust me. I know I do. Um, okay. So what we're going to do is, uh, here, let's move all of our uh, valuables over to this chest right here. So we got a little area of where things are. And then, uh, let's cook up this gold, actually. How much... Ooh. How much gold do we actually have? Or how far away are we from, uh... From a god apple? That's my concern. I don't think we're too far away. No, I don't think we are. And the thing is now, we don't really have to worry about regen all that much. So, we don't have to make golden apples, regular ones. Because we'll have potions now. Oh, I'm happy. Okay, uh, things are looking really good for us in the series. Holy crap. So, let's think. We got enough for a power 5 bow. How many levels would that take off, though? That would take off, I think, 6 levels it was. I think it was 6 levels. Let's check again. Yeah, six levels. Hmm. We can do that now. Um, but anyways, let's actually... Let's just get some brewing stuff done. Let's get some brewing done. Okay, beautiful. Um, we're gonna want to make a little area with some water here. Um, where's a little bit of water that we can take? Hello, sugar cane. Oh, sugar cane just grew right in front of my face. It was like... Pah! Right in front of you. Okay. Let's dig out this little area. Um... Right... Where do you want some water? Let's make it hidden. Let's make it hidden. Underneath here. There's there's our little water. <laughs> um, okay, so let's take the cauldron, actually, and we can... What do we want to do with the cauldron? Frick, I don't know. <laughs> Put it up there. That looks, that looks weird. Looks like a little L. Um, let's make a few bottles. Maybe nine, something like that. And this can be like our brewing, uh, our brewing thing right here. Uh, we're gonna want to make a chest that actually holds purely potions as well. So let's make that chest, and we'll put it right here. There we go. And then, okay, let's just take some... Here. Let's put some stuff away. Put the gold away. Put the wither head away as well. The saddles. Oh, I'm so happy! Next episode's probably gonna be horse hunting. Oh, I'm, I'm so pumped. And then we got some iron horse armor. Really happy about that. Uh, the nether wart as well. Let's actually get started on a nether wart farm. Well, actually, no, we don't really need a nether wart farm right now. For a long time, actually. So, let's just put uh, a little bit in here. Actually, hmm. Yeah, let's just make some more bottles. So, how many do we have in here? 12 now? We've got 21 in total. Awesome. Let's take three. And what's the first potion that we're going to actually make? Oh. There we go. What's the first potion that we're going to make? We'll put another wart in. I'm thinking probably regen. Now, let me actually see here. Um, we're actually going to end off our episode. Minecraft potions. 
Because I want to check real quick here and see which uh, potion heals longer. Because I know there's regen 2 and there's uh, extended regen. But which one heals more hearts? Okay, let's see here. Potion of regeneration. Duration 2 minutes. Wow, that's overpowered. Restores 48 health. 24 hearts over time. Wow. We can literally make... Wow. This series is about to get easy, if you know what I mean. Okay. And then Potion of Healing 2 restores 4 hearts... And then, okay, hell yeah. Let's make some potions of uh, regeneration. That is so freaking crazy. 48 hearts, or 48 health, 24 hearts. Obviously, that's over the portion of two minutes, but still, that is nuts. That is seriously nuts. Look at this. Wait for it. Hold on, and then we need, what do we need? We need redstone? Yeah, we need redstone to take the duration. There we go, and just extend the crap out of it. We're going to sleep, so we can get our rest on. And uh, anyways, I'd like to thank you all for watching this episode of Trinity UHC. Guys, this is crazy. I am so excited. So freaking excited for this. You have absolutely no idea. Next episode, horse hunting probably, and then we're going to go looking for... I'm actually not sure what we want to do. But look at this. We have enough for literally more than three full health bars to regen now. Nuts! Nuts. Of course, we don't have a lot of gas tiers though, so this might be something that we'll use in very dire circumstances. But anyways, I'd like to thank you all for watching this episode of Trinity UHC. We got potions, we got some good enchants, and uh, I think actually before the episode ends, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this power on that book. There we go, baby. Power 5 book right there. Power 5 bow, and we can still repair the bow once. That is awesome. Again, guys, if you're enjoying the series, please be sure to leave some feedback. It is so greatly appreciated. You have no idea. And uh, I hope you're all having a fantastic day, end of the weekend, whatever it may be. I know spring break is just ending for me very soon, and it probably is for a lot of you. So I hope you guys have a great time back at school, if you're in school, or work, or whatever it is on earth that you're doing. And uh, apart from that, I'll catch you guys back in the next episode. Take care, and I'll see you then. Ciao!